what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about amd nvidia soxs bear etf and also smh semi etf and now let's get right into it amd is up again 1.28 percent and if you look at this rsi on this daily chart off the page now at 75 so extremely extremely overbought and look at this guys upper bollinger band sitting at 94.81 and the stock itself sitting at almost 98. now last time i showed it amd stock was up here i got what i wanted on monday my 80 dollar puts went deep in the money amd stock came below 80 and i sold for a profit now again i'm short on amd and it's not going to expire anytime soon i got enough time and i think we will see at least 90 dollars on amd I mean, this thing here, guys, with RSI sitting at 75, not even trading closer to this upper Bollinger Band, and not to mention, even on a bull run, AMD stock should be close to this 5 SMA on this daily chart, which is sitting at $90. I mean, this is insanity, guys. AMD, NVIDIA, Microsoft, SMH, and now Apple, Google, Amazon, everything going up to the moon. I mean, there is like no other tomorrow. The market is rallying like something really good happened in the market, which we all know that, you know, Fed just broke something. So AMD stock going into next week, we will see a pullback. We will see a retracement just like we saw before. We have a resistance at 100, but if we can get passed through that level, AMD heading higher all the way up to 105. To the downside, we have support at 95 and then we could be retracing not only this upper Bollinger Band, also 5 SMA on this daily chart, which is sitting right around $90. And that's going to be actually, you know, backtesting this big breakout 90 bucks down here. And that should be coming here on AMD stock going into next week. Now, nobody knows why these stocks are pumping. You know, leave your comments below if you know exactly why. But I do know why these stocks are pumping. And there is machine buying and going long. Algos are buying. This is not small retail money buying this and pushing it higher every day. I mean, yesterday this thing was up, I think, $7. Day before it was up also. And even on Monday, after coming down to $78, this thing rallied back up to $80. And now look at this. Within five days from $78 all the way up to almost $100. So that is a massive move. And I think we will see a retracement here on AMD back down to 95. And soon as that gives up, we are going to see a retracement and also back testing this breakout, which is sitting right around $90. And now we're going to look at NVIDIA. So before we start this video on NVIDIA, if you want to get my setups, my trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, and also three days of live trading in my Discord, and you want to support the channel, that's the main thing, definitely check out my Patreon, guys. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Now on NVIDIA, we're up 0.72% on the day, and this thing again today gapped up. I think it was up 2%, rallied all the way up to... 264 almost and then came back down but not down to this uh gap 255.88 still holding above 255 and not filling this gap down here nvidia stock is on a monster move guys i mean look at all these gaps 255 233 211 not to mention this one down here and a lot of us actually forgot that we still have this gap down here on nvidia also so nvidia on a monstrous run to the upside definitely this is not a buy even if the stock gets back down to i would say 230 still i would say this is not a buy guys i mean look at all these gaps that is insanity here on nvidia so going into next week as a support i would say watch for 245 guys blue line 5 sma right here and that's where we got rejected before so that should be a strong support and below that we could be coming down to 238 and then watch out for 233 
to fill this gap down here. To the upside, Nvidia can stay above 255. We're going to see another push all the way up to 265. And now we're going to look at SMH. So if you guys remember, we had this bear flag on SMH and look at this guy. So nowadays, bear flag is actually a bull flag. I mean, look at this insanity guys. From this bear flag and look at this. I mean, I can zoom in. This is a clear bear flag on SMH and look at what's happening. We actually broke out to the upside. So, you know, sometimes technicals don't really matter in this market when you have, you know, feds printing the money and just throwing it out there for free. Nothing is working. I mean, look at this, guys. Bear flag into a massive breakout. So that is something to watch. Yes, you're looking at a bear flag and you're expecting a drop down to 227. And the ETF rallied back up to 254 today. Massive, almost touching that uh, 255 range where we got rejected before. So going into next week on Monday, as a support, it's holding 250 right here, right on top of this bear flag right here, guys. 250 breaks, we could see a drop down to 245, 243, 241, white line 20 SMA, and then 238. To the upside, 250 can hold. We're going to see another push back up to 255. And now we're going to look at bear ETF SOXS. So SOXS is up 1.54% on the day. And this thing is trading in between 18 and $24. So that is the trading range here on SOXS. I actually bought some more shares of SOXS today. And also this thing is getting extremely oversold trading below lower Bollinger Band today, and then we saw a retracement back up to $19. And we are holding this $19 as a support, lower Bollinger Band down here on this daily chart. So going into next week, the only way this thing can go up, we need a pullback on AMD, NVIDIA, all the chips, and also especially SMH. And if that happens, we're going to see SOXS, just like I made the video before, this thing shooting up all the way up to not only 20 bucks, 21.45, and then possibly up to even $24. As a support, we have lower Bollinger Band sitting at 19, and below that, we could be retesting $18 on SOXS. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated 